West Ham have confirmed the signing of Morocco defender Naif Aguert from French side Ren on a five-year deal. The 26-year-old Moroccan international is believed to have cost West Ham around about £30 million and his arrival ends West Ham manager David Moyes' search for a left-footed centre-back. He is going to provide plenty of competition in the centre-half position alongside Craig Dawson, Issa Diop, Angelo Ogbonna and Kurt Zuma. Roll today's title. <laughs> Here is everything you need to know about Naif Aguerd, who has signed for West Ham. And as West Ham fans, we're buzzing to get one over the line. And let's hope this is a snowball effect that brings in some more players moving forward to give us some much-needed strength in depth. However, Aguerd was spotted by scouts from the Mohammed Football Academy, which was created by King Mohammed as a national training centre for young footballers and became one of the first of 45 players aged between the age of 12 and 13 to join the academy back in September 2009. The young Aguerd moved into the academy, situated 30 miles down from the coast of the city of Sale as a boarder, enabling him to concentrate on his football and education full-time. And he remained at the academy until the age of 18. He converted from a midfield to a centre half and trained alongside the likes of current Sevilla striker Inesri, who of course West Ham are linked back to again. He then joined leading Moroccan top flight Faith Union Sports based in the capital of Rabat back in 2014 and he reached the Throne Cup final in 2015 before winning the Moroccan League title in 2016 shortly after his 20th birthday before making the move to Europe the D, um, the French side Dijon two years later unlike many of Ligue 1's most talented prospects he was not picked out early as someone who would be familiar face and who could be making the step up across the channel and with his potential not immediately um, clear even for those inside of the club he eventually became the first choice under three separate managers for Dijon. And there was still a degree of surprise in France when in the summer of 2020, Ren, who had just qualified for the Champions League for the first time, moved for the centre-back and brought him in. And he only managed only 25 league appearances in his two seasons in the division. Dijon had flirted precariously with relegation in each of those campaigns, but regular watchers reported them to be markedly more solid side with the centre-back present. A few arguably vindicated when they finished bottom and slipped into League 2 the season after his departure. Aguerd quickly justified Ren's faith with an impressive start to the 2021 season, so much so that the club felt confident enough to terminate the loan of the Italian international Daniele Brugani midway through the season, with Juventus defender deemed surplus to requirements, having struggled with the hamstring injury. He was safe from the COVID-enforced absence and one suspension. Aguerd, Aguerd was ever-present in the league and Champions League and attracted interest from a number of clubs, including our beloved West Ham last summer, but opted to continue his development in Brittany. This term, he has maintained his form, establishing himself with a reputation as one of League Un's most reliable defenders, playing every minute for a Morocco side that conceded just once in the group stages of the World Cup qualifying, impressed at the AFCON before falling to Mo Salah's Egypt and then qualified for Qatar via the playoff. However, if you did get to see him against the likes of Egypt, you will see we have a galloping defender who has got so much pace and he can cover so much ground very, very quickly. He is known for his dominant aerial presence, ability to read the game and sharp recovery speed. He's not the most naturally gifted centre-back in terms of physicality, 
but he has developed that part of his game year on year. And those claim to see him and watch him are saying they're not concerned about that potential weakness. Having tested himself against Premier League opposition in meetings with Leicester and Tottenham in last season's Europa Conference League group stages, as well as Chelsea in last season's Champions League. In possession, Aguerd has been comfortable building from the back for Ren side. And under their manager, they've played some of League Un's most attractive football with only, you have heard me right, PSG scoring more than their 82 goals this season. And prior to working with the current manager from Rennes, Aguer was also uh, one of French football's most highly rated um, youngsters. And he was also notified by one of the most highly rated French managers at the time who delivered Rennes the first major trophy in 48 years when winning the 2019 French Cup and played a key role in the development of the likes of Leeds United star Rafinha, Eduardo Camavangia, who's now a Champions League winner for Real Madrid. So where will Aguerd fit into West Ham? Well, signing a left-footed centre-back, a key priority this summer, it was going to look to bring balance to the back line. It also includes the increase the quality and depth of the squad ahead of another season in Europe with current fourth choice, potentially Issa Diop, to be sold. Aguerd fits the bill. He already speaks English. Have you seen it in interviews? He speaks exquisitely great English. But on top of that, along with his French, Spanish and Arabic, Arabic um, he is multilingual and, and he looks like he understands the banter. He's got the banter. You need to go check out the interview he did with Carlton Cole when Obona comes in and there's a good laugh there. And it's going to make for a smooth transition into the Premier League. While having scored seven times for Ren from centre-back in the past two seasons, he is going to add to West Ham's set-piece threat. Now, we have got an all-you-need-to-know video. Go and check it out. Let me know your thoughts. And we'll come back and say good evening. Take it easy.
this is genuinely one player I really am excited about. You know, we hear a lot about players here, there and everywhere from all over the world. However, he is going to come in here and I think he is going to tear up the Premier League and he's going to show the Premier League what he's capable of doing. He's a big lad and I can picture him and Zuma creating a fantastic partnership and it just is going to solidify that back line. And obviously, if we bring in a Riola to add to that, it's going to add to some fantastic defensive recruits from David Moy, six foot two, centre half, Aguirre, signs for West Ham, £30 million. Leave your comments in the section below. If you're new around here, please subscribe to the channel and help us out. We're on the march towards 20,000 subscribers. Hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notification, that will notify you when our shows do go live. See you tomorrow for some more content. Stay safe and come on you.